Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to cook broccoli bacon fettuccine. So you can get a better fettuccine from the shop. And then you cook it for roughly six to eight minutes. I like to add a little bit of oil in it so that it doesn't stick together later on. Once the fettuccine is cooked, you just drain the water. And I personally like to drain, put a bit of, just run this with some water, like cooked boil water. Just to drain any extra bits of stuff in there. And now I move on to broccoli. So you just cut the broccoli into smaller pieces. I like to soak in water for a while to wash it properly. I have removed the broccoli from the water bath and you probably can see there's actually quite a lot of junk in there. Just try to focus. So it's always good to soak broccoli in the water. That probably is a little, a little warm in there, a few little worms. You probably wish not to eat this. Okay, so they are nicely clean. So now I need to cook this broccoli. So just bring the water to boil. Thing is ready. Then I'm just going to put all this in. It's important not to overcook the broccoli. Okay, so let's just boil it for a few minutes. And now I'm going to prepare a little bit of onions. So you got the onions, you got to chop it into small pieces. And also I've got this um, ringless bacon, which I'm going to also cut it into smaller pieces. So broccoli, now you can see the colors change to this really nice green, so it's cooked. So we've got to take it out and drain it. So I have prepared the bacon and the onions. I'm just going to put them into the pan and just do a bit of frying until your bacon is cooked. And because bacon itself has, you know, fat in it, so I usually prefer not to put any oil. Just get the oil, the fat from the bacon. So I'm just frying the bacon and the onions. While waiting for the bacon to be cooked, I also like to just put the nicely cooked crunchy broccoli over the fettuccine. You can, yeah, just place them above the fettuccine. The bacon looks quite nicely cooked, a little bit brown. And the sauce that I'm going to use for fettuccine is just this thickened cream. So I'm just going to open it up and then pour it into the bacon.
And now I'm just going to just let it boil a little bit until the cream gets thickened. So now the sauce looks quite ready. And I'm just going to pour this over the plate of fettuccine broccoli that I have pre-prepared. Okay, so this plate of broccoli, bacon, fettuccine is ready to be served. It's a really healthy dish with lots of green. And you can see how I plated it. Three layers. Very nice, yummy, healthy. You can actually put some salt and pepper if you like more flavors in it. But generally, because the bacon is already quite flavorish, so... I don't put much at all. Alright, enjoy!